What is up everybody, Dark Ghoul here, back at it again with another challenge video. But in today's video, we got ourselves, like I said, another challenge. But in today's challenge, there was a sale of Pokemon cards going on at Walgreens. So make sure you guys head to your local Walgreens because they are doing 40% off their Pokemon products, which means their theme decks are $8.99 after the 40% off. Their booster packs are $2.69, I believe, or $2.49. Their tens are $8.99, and I believe the two pack pin blisters are like $6.49 or something like that, guys. I do have my receipt right here for reference. And basically, for this challenge, I limited myself for $50. However, I went below, below that average. And let me show you why and show you everything I picked up from this drugstore. But before I do, let me go ahead and show you some clips of the drive there and of the store, Walgreens, the sale tags and all of that good stuff. Alrighty guys, and I am now inside Walgreens and we're gonna go directly into the toy section because there is a small little section of toys in this drugstore. So I just absolutely love Walgreens because they have so many items, like a huge variety. They have seasonal stuff, they have dog stuff, they have food, they have a whole bunch of stuff in this store, which is why I like coming here. But we're passing through the Christmas section and boy oh boy, I wish it was Christmas already, honestly, because it is probably the best holiday out there. But we are now here in the toy section, and let's just scope out what we see. And unfortunately, all of the Pokemon products are locked up in the back because it's empty over here. Because people always be stealing them. And it's extremely annoying because they're going to stop selling them if you guys keep stealing Pokemon cards. So as you can see, it's 40% off right here. $8.99 for some tins, $2.69 for a booster pack. That is insane right there, guys. And I saw this neat little Magikarp right here. But without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and round up all of the products. And let's go ahead and go back to the setup and see exactly what I picked up for this $50 drugstore challenge, guys. I didn't really get like extremely good footage and that's because the recording process in store wasn't really good because their Pokemon products weren't on the shelves. They were all stocked up in the back and then when the dude gave me the box of Pokemon cards to choose from, I had to choose very quickly because the guy was actually going to take them back to the stock room and then take the ones I'd chosen. So I couldn't really, you know, record what I got. But I do have my bag right here. And let me show you everything I got, guys. So this bag is full of Pokemon cards, as you can see. Now, everything I picked up from Walgreens is legit. 40% off. The tins, however, are the smaller tins. Which is why they're only worth it when it has a sale. And this is a $50 challenge anyway. So I kind of want to reach the limit. So we got two tins. We got a Machamp tin for $8.99. And then I picked up the Gengar tin for $8.99 as well. So that's two tins right there already, guys. And then I picked up a boatload of single blisters right here. This was all they had of single packs. Two Gardens Rising and two Burning Shadows. 
for 249 269 a piece and then they had this mystery ex blister pack as well which i'm really really excited for and then the final thing i picked up is this furious fizz slash phantom forces pin blister pack right here now i haven't seen this product in specific in a long time guys like i'm talking about a long time and let me go ahead and give you guys a quick breakdown of the prices like i said i have my receipt right here so give me one second and i'll match each product one by one Alrighty, guys so this pin blister right here was six dollars and eleven cents this two pack blister was six dollars and eleven cents as well and for two blister packs of guardians rising and two blister packs of burning shadows it was 458 for two guardians rising and then another 458 for two burning shadows and then the tins obviously they're the more expensive ones and i'm trying to look at the receipt right here but i can't really see that well it was 15 dollars 28 for two tins guys that's some insane deals right there that is definitely, definitely below $50. I will be putting the total amount for everything on the screen right here, guys. And I was going to show the receipt, but I have a bunch of groceries, my card information, all of that jazz. And you guys don't want to see that. But without further ado, let's go ahead and unpackage everything. And let's just get straight to the booster packs, guys. So let's get it. Alrighty guys and we are back and we do have the two tins they are empty i took out the promos there's nothing special about these tins so i don't really need to talk about those very much but i do have my sleeves ready i got my water ready because we are going to be opening up a lot of booster packs as you can see we have one two three four five six i skipped one seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen 14 booster packs guys and obviously we're gonna be starting off with fates collide because fates collide i don't really like you and we're gonna be doing sun and moon base and let's just actually mix these up and let's not be biased about these even though i want to open up guardians rising last low key that's why they're all in the back but we're gonna be starting off with fates collide we have four packs of it and then we have this kangaskhan pin right here which looks absolutely amazing the mega kangaskhan i should say because it has that little weird thing i have no idea like what exactly what type of animal is kangaskhan but let's go ahead and check out our promo cards right here we do have a machamp holographic right there we got a gengar holographic and our mystery ex from that blister pack is going to be none other than a kingdra ex and I do believe this is from the collection box, but it is from Fates Collide as well because it's not a promo card. Always, always nice not to get a promo card. But let's go ahead and put our pools back there. You know what? We're actually going to sleeve up our boy Kingdra right here because all EXs deserve a sleeve. And you know what? Let's be nice and let's actually sleeve up the Gengar and the Machamp as well because why not, guys? Why not? Well, let's go ahead and sleeve up everything because we love our cards in extremely pristine condition. So let's put our sleeves to the side and let's just start with these booster packs, guys. Like I said, since we're opening up a lot of booster packs, we're not even going to do the pack trick. I'm going to give out the codes. We're going to skim through the packs and let's just do it that way, guys. So we got a Zygarde and a Barbacle right there. So nothing too crazy for that booster pack, but it is Fates Collide. So I'm not really expecting too much. But like I said, guys, I was not expecting a drugstore to have set. Ooh, we got a beautiful Mew holographic right there. Absolutely love Mew. The only car that's worth getting in Fates Collide, honestly. Beautiful, beautiful Mew. But as I was saying, I was not expecting a drugstore to have Pokemon cards on sale. And it's kind of funny buying Pokemon cards in a place like this, guys. And that focus is terrible right there. There we go. So Fates Collide just has one holographic. Can we get something else though? Who knows, guys? Who knows? But these were extremely cheap altogether, guys. 
and i have no idea why the focus is being so terrible right now but bear with me but like i said guys my packs were a little bit more cheaper than what i said because i do have the plug which means i do get some sort of employee discount because i know somebody that actually works at walgreens so let's go ahead and do the sun and moon booster pack Ooh, what you guys see that that's upside down is that an error card we about to find out guys we about to find out we got a lily pup wingle i have no idea why i did the pack trick i think it's because i took a little peek at the code and it was a white code so let's see what we get guys we got an umbreon air oh never mind it's not an error for a second i thought the pokeball was upside down and then i was gonna think that it was an error but we got an off-centered umbreon gx that looks absolutely terrible but an ultra rare is an ultra rare nonetheless guys so far we're doing pretty good honestly because we have one ultra rare one holographic we got another additional ultra rare because it's not a promo and then we have two hollows that aren't promos as well so basically we're promo free and that's what you always always want to see so here is a breakpoint booster pack right there. I absolutely love breakpoint. One of the best break sets that ever came out. But we got a Garbodor holographic right there, guys. Is this the playable one? I do believe this is the playable one, but I'm not too sure. I know the trash Lanch one is actually pretty good as well. But I do believe some people run this one as well. So let's go ahead and put that in the background. And so far... Our pools are insane, honestly. We have a bunch of nice hollows, ultra rares. What more can I ask for? But we got another breakpoint booster pack. And for some reason, I keep doing the pack trick. But let's run through this pack. We got a Meganium holographic right there. So we're hitting the hollows hard now, which is unfortunate slightly. However, I'm not really complaining because all of these products were extremely cheap. So basically, out of two tins, guys... We got two holographics. We got three holographics and one ultra rare. That's pretty bad for two tins, honestly. Or I can say it's average, but I was expecting a little bit more ultra rares from these tins. But let's go ahead and open up this Furious Fist booster pack. And it's been a while since I opened up Furious Fist. And these packs are extremely old because the code card does have a design. Had to take a sip of that water because your boy is losing his breath. And let's go ahead and see what we get in this pack. What? Oh, I, for a second, I thought we didn't get a reverse because I didn't see the shine. But it looks like we just got regular, regular Pokemon cards right there. So let's get into this Phantom Forces pack, guys. I have not opened Phantom Forces in a long, long time. And I do believe the main card people want from this set is i think it's a dialga silver card i believe is what it's called but let's see what we get Ooh, we got a nice heat run. pachirisu is a rare what i did not know pachirisu is a rare but we got a nice heat trend card right there we got a battle compressor i do believe this is a very very playable card in like night march decks and stuff like that so our booster packs that we have left is basically guardians rising and burning shadows my two favorite sets are actually guardians rising is hands down my favorite set and the majority of you guys already know that for one reason hitting them white coats baby let's get it and let's see what we get i'm actually going to do the pack trick for this one because the code was facing in our direction so let's see what we get from this booster pack guys we got a tentacle stuffle alolan santru cottony bell sprout fire energy slow bro watch hog rescue stretcher altar of the sun and the final card is ooh a turtonator gx at least it's an ultra rare guys because i was getting worried that these packs were going to be dry but we got another ultra rare to add to the pools guys however it's not a really expensive ultra rare but it's still a great card to pull nonetheless let's get into the next pack which is burning shadows it is facing the other direction but we're just gonna run through this pack because i don't even know guys i don't want to spend too much time but we got a nice butterfree bodybuilding dumbbells as well as baby girl acerola right there i just love acerola probably one of my favorite characters from sun and moon but let's get into our next guardians rising pack and let's see what kind of heat is in this pack unfortunately it is a green code 
which absolutely sucks. But hopefully you guys are enjoying this challenge. And if you guys are, go ahead and smash that like button for your boy. And make sure you turn on that bell for post notifications. Because if you guys smash that like button right now, one of these two packs will contain an ultra rare or better guys maybe even a secret rare who knows but smash that like button right now like do it right now and we're gonna get some dope pulls from these last packs so let's go ahead and start with burning shadows and let's see what we get guys like i said 40 percent off walgreens make sure you guys check out the pokemon products because they're extremely cheap more cheap than like target walmart and stuff like that guys so we are going to be doing the pack trick because i want to leave the hype for last so let's see what we get from this pack and it's like really fun to buy pokemon cards from drugstores because it's like something you don't really expect or see that often but we got a heracross regular rare guys that means everything we ever worked for is in this guardians rising booster pack right here What's it going to be, guys? Is it going to be a white code or a green code? Let's find out in three, two, one. Oh, oh my God. It's a white code. Yo, it's a white code, guys. Oh, my God. Here is the code card right there. Make sure you guys smash that like button right now. Because if you did it, we're going to get bad luck. Here is the energy. It is a water energy right there. So let's go ahead and do three to the front and let's see what we get guys like i said if you smash that like button this will be an ultra rare or better guys but i know some of you have been wondering when am i going to be doing the toys r us challenge the hundred dollar toys r us challenge and that is coming very soon and once we release that video i will be selecting another challenge from this bin right here that you guys recommended all your recommendations are going to be coming from those videos when i announce it so here is a machoke probo pass and the final card in this booster pack is going to be none other than a sylveon gx i told you guys if you smash that like button we are going to be getting an ultra rare for a second i thought it was a tapu lele because of the top border right here i saw a little bit of purple so i was like it might be a tapu lele however it is not guys without further ado let's go ahead and do a quick recap of everything we got we got a Sylveon GX, Turtonator GX, Meganium Holographic, Gardevoir Holographic, Mew Holographic, Umbreon GX, Kingdra EX, and two more additional holographics right there, guys. All in all, we get to add four more Ultra Rares to our collection, as well as a bunch of holographics right there. So I say the pulls were average, mainly because the pulls that we did get aren't expensive or worth anything. So I say we did all right in this $50 challenge. However, my total was way, way below $50 because like I said, I added some groceries and my end total was like $57. So if you take off all the groceries I got, the sodas, the chips and all that stuff, it's well below like $40 or something like that for all of these products. So like I said, guys, if you did enjoy this video, make sure you subscribe, enjoy the ghoul army, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.